Um, Florida State game, we, uh, you know, we just kind of too many turnovers. We, we had some opportunities at seven times the second half to either tie or take the lead. Uh, we just, you know, when you have your margin of error zero, you've got to be able to, uh, you know, you can't miss a layup, dunk, or turnover, when, especially in fast break situations. Um, and Florida State's a very good team. But, um, um, you know, we had, we had opportunities uh, during that game. Got another great opportunity Saturday versus a very good North Carolina team. Uh, you know, obviously, <clears throat> got a lot of great players, and one of the great coaches in the history of the game. And, uh, uh, but that's what's great about the ACC is every time you step on the floor, you got a chance to, to get better and, and uh, have a great opportunity to try to get a great win. It's a real challenge with this team to get on the boards because they really get after it. Yeah, we, we've, the, the, the area that we have not, we've been better on the rebounding. The only two things we have, we've been better in free throw shooting. The only two areas we haven't been better at is three point shooting, even though we were better last game in three point shooting, but part of that is Michael Pelosi at six. Uh, but the biggest thing is turnovers. Just can't turn the ball over like we have. You can't, can't do it if you're going to win at this level, in this league. With our three point shooting percentage, those, those two things don't match up well. You could survive not shooting the ball well, you're not turning it over, but you can't survive not shooting well from three and not and turning it over. Jordan's a guy that plays with intense effort all the time, but a couple flagrants already this year. I imagine turn it down to nine and a half instead of ten, maybe well, he on the plays defensive. With, well, yeah, and, and, and we need him to rebound better. He can't average 3.8 rebounds. He has, um, you know, 16 defensive rebounds and whatever, uh, you know, five or, you know, uh, offensive. He, he has to be a better rebounder for us. I'm not as much concerned on the flagrant. I mean, that, you know, he's just, he's going to have it. He's a high energy guy, but based on that energy and intensity, he's got to be able to rebound the ball better for us. And he knows that. Just, and that's the biggest thing that he's got to be better for us in that area. He's got to rebound better. Like last game versus Florida State, one rebound is not going to get it done. Not in 30 some odd minutes. How, how big is the loss of Anthony and Harris for them? Um, well, look, I mean, um, Cole Anthony is, um, I mean, I, I assume he's, he, he always still is going to be a lottery pick. So anytime you lose a lottery pick, it's a, it's a loss. Um, but they're still very good. They got a lot of really good players and they got a great coach. I, I guess kind of how would you assess things as we flip into the second half of the schedule here? Well, uh, Kelly, you know, <clears throat> what I think is uh, I, I really like our squad. I, mean, I, I believe in our group. I think our group has a chance to be really, really good. I think we should be judged on now that we got a full complement of our team and how we do moving forward um, or starting since Hawaii, should I say. Um, with the Boise State game, and if you look at that, we're two and two right now. Um, and we have uh, what uh, 18 total games remaining, if you include Morehouse, so 17 ACC, and then 18, and then the, the one game in the conference tournament that you're guaranteed that you're that you're guaranteed anything past that. But right now, we've got a lot of opportunities, and and it's gonna it's all gonna depend, Kelly, on where we finish in the ACC. Are you bottom tier, middle tier, or upper tier? You're, you're one of those three tiers. And, um, and uh, of course, we're striving to be in the upper tier, but in order to get to the upper tier, we've got to win games. When facing a team like North Carolina, who leads the nation in rebounding, how important is it for James Banks to step up after being kind of sort of streaky as of late? Part of our issue is James Banks has to be, there's two things. Guard play wins you games in college basketball. It's all about guard play. We need Jose Alvarado and Michael DeVoe to be an upper tier backcourt. They're more than capable of being it. We can't have when Mike plays well, Jose does, and Jose plays well, Mike. Those two have got to be exceptional every game. Now they might have an off night shooting, one guy, but the other, but 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 they've got to be great with assists, low turnovers, manage the game, high rebounds, defensive rebounds, winning 50-50 balls, getting the scrums, all those type of things. Um, and then we need James Banks to play better. Uh, his first, you know, six, seven games, he, he was a high-level shot blocker and rebounder. And starting with the Nebraska game, he had eight rebounds, two blocks. And then after that, starting with Syracuse, he's just been non-existent. He had a couple flashes here and there, but he has to be better. And um, he knows that. I know it. We know it. 
He has to be better. He, he early, if you look at the stat line from the first game of the season to Nebraska, you know, he was, he had, he had production. And starting with the Syracuse game, he has not played well. What do you think has been responsible for that dip in production? I think it's just all between his ears. You just got to get, you know, he's getting the minutes. Um, just, you know, he's good enough to get it done. He's got to focus. He's got to focus and get his, um, and become really, and, and just be, and buy into being a great shot blocker and rebounder. Those are two things that you, it, that's in your controllables. And you just got to do it. Did your rotation and the minutes that the players played against Florida State, did that have anything to do with the... I probably, pressure, I, probably, pressure? I probably played too many minutes for some of the guys. Probably needed to not play some guys as many minutes in that Florida State game. Can you talk a little bit about Christian's decision to come back? Yeah, he decided he's going to come back and, you know, glad to have him back. And I gave him the opportunity, you know, he wanted a red shirt this year, so he gave him the opportunity to red shirt. I mean, I do believe his best basketball will be ahead of him when he's 20. Two and twenty-three. That's when he's a you know redshirt junior senior. I think he's going to be a really good player. I mean, I would love to have him this year to play, but that's just with shooting. He didn't play well in the Georgia College or Alabama game, but uh, um, you know we could be using his shooting right now. But that being said, I, he wanted to you know ask for the opportunity to evaluate if this is you know wanted to stay or leave. And you know he and I have a great relationship. He loves his teammates. He loves Georgia Tech. And, um, and I told him if you're going to go, then you need to you know, explore what you need to explore, but if you decide to come back, you gotta be all in. It can't be one foot in, one foot out. You're either, you're either in or out. So if you decide to come back, you gotta be all in. And that's kinda, you know, so he's all in and we'll just keep moving forward. Physically, is he back to where he can get in some good practices? Oh yeah, yeah, he's been practicing fine. You know, it just during that time period, he didn't have to practice because he was, during the Christmas time, because he's was back at home making a decision of what he wanted to do. Moses is a guy who seems like he's developing skills, kind of like what the NBA looks for, like a guy like Draymond Green or whatever, like the flashes, the different abilities. Kind of what do you need to see from him to make that, take that next step? Uh, he's got to be able to start better for us. It takes him a little bit to get his motor revved up and just, you know, he's got to be better about that. And then secondly, he's got to stop turning the ball over. But other than that, he's been really good. Is there anything and he's really improved. From where he was to where he is now, he's made leaps and bounds improvement. Is there anything you saw in particular from those six turnovers? You know, any tendencies or? Well, um, he, you know, the first play of the game is because he wasn't, you know, he's not, he doesn't start the game as well. Um, he's got to get himself better in that. You know, he threw it to the scoreboard twice. The scoreboard's not a um, player, so <laughs> he, he's got to be able to be better about that. Um, you know, he try, when he's not real effective when he tries to dribble, and we don't want him out there doing all those, you know, there's times when he's really good just going downhill and he's engaged and he just goes downhill. He can make some plays, but when he tries to start going between the legs, you know, you're like, get your butt by the basket then. So um, we, we, we're, we will be better, I believe we will be better with our turnovers moving forward. And, and uh, I mean, like I said, we're, we're gonna rely a lot on our guard play. Everyone else has got to do their job, but you know our guards need to be high-level backcourt. I, and I believe they are. I'm. I'm. I. I, I mean, I, our guys are very, very good, and I, I'm totally in with our guys. They just, you know, when they play at a high level, we as a team play at a high level. This, this is a guards game. College basketball is a guards game. Speaking of the guard play, how do you plan to utilize uh, Bubba going forward? Do you want him to kind of be a, a ball handler like he was when the, when uh, Jose was out, or do you want him to be like he was if he might more? So I think you can play with guard? him. Bubba can play with Bubba, Mike, and Jose together, and um, um, you know, or or he can relieve one of those two. I think we can either put them on or off the ball, just depending on the flow of the game. Is a three guard lineup something you could? experiment with in the next I mean, few those games. will probably give us our best three to make threes. So, yes. And we played three-guard lineup in, in Hawaii, and we played it last game, too. As far as the confidence factor goes with three-point shooting, other than Michael, I guess, some of the guys like Jose, you still have to give them the green light. If they no, get the they're open. Shot. they got to shoot it. Yeah. Just gotta, just, I, I, listen, I'm okay if we – I mean, when I say okay, I mean, if you have open shots and you take good shots and they're wide open, you just – and they make some, there's nothing you can do. But we can't miss those and then also have a turnover rate that we're having. That's just a, a, a bad combination. So um, we can miss shots. We just we got to take care of the ball.